The Canadian consulate in Hong Kong says its staff will not be allowed to leave the city on official business. It would not say whether the move is linked to the confirmed detention of a British consulate worker in mainland China. But that British worker went missing two weeks ago when he traveled from Hong Kong to Shenzhen across the border. The head of the cabin crew union for a regional Hong Kong-based airline, Cathay Dragon, is speaking out over the loss of her job. She says she was fired for allegedly supporting anti-government protesters through a social media post. Chris Brown is our CBC News reporter, bringing us the story from Hong Kong. Perhaps no company has been a more visible casualty of the anti-government protests here in Hong Kong than the city's flagship air carrier, Cathay Pacific. Cathay is actually overseen by the Chinese government. It's regulated by China, and one of its major shareholders is a Chinese state corporation. But many of its employees are from Hong Kong, and a lot of those, it would appear, actually support the protest movement. Cathay has issued very direct orders within the last week saying any show of support for those protests could result in dismissal. Today at an emotional news conference we heard from Rebecca Sai. She was the head of the flight attendants union for a Cathay subsidiary Dragon Air. She says she was inexplicably fired after management confronted her about social media posts without telling her specifically what she said or did wrong. She describes a climate of fear or what people here sometimes refer to as a white terror amongst employees. I'm terrified. All my colleagues are all terrified because of this white terror. Cathay's CEO has already stepped down and insiders have told local media it's because he was seen as being too lenient. It's extended to each and every corporate in order to kowtow or back down in front of the Chinese um, pressure. Since last Sunday's huge anti-government rally, the protests have been fairly quiet, but that lull now appears to be ending. Potentially the most serious one scheduled this weekend calls for demonstrators to clog all of the major arteries heading out to Hong Kong's airport. And of course, the airport uh, has been the scene of some of the worst violence between police and protesters that has been witnessed here over the last three months. Chris Brown, CBC News in Hong Kong.